Tonight, 12 News Investigates is tracking the aftermath of the deep freeze on Southeast Texas chemical plants and refineries. Some had to shut down, and as a result, as we were telling you, gas prices are expected to go up. And today, we are digging deeper into how those shutdowns may have impacted the environment. 12 News Investigator Lauren Hensley looked through the data from the TCEQ, and she's breaking down what all of this means. Jordan and Dejanique, the winter storm forced many refineries and plants to stop production. That led to flaring, which caused emissions or chemicals to be released into the air. Data from the TCEQ is showing details about what was released and why. From February 13th to February 19th in Jefferson County, there were 18 emissions events reported to the TCEQ. Chevron Phillips, Exxon, Motiva, Total, and Valero were some of the companies who reported emissions during this time frame. A wide variety of chemicals listed in public reports from the TCEQ. Benzene, butadiene, methane, propane, VOCs, just to name a few of those dozens of chemicals tracked. Now, according to Reuters, Valero Energy said in its filings with the TCEQ that it released 78,000 pounds over 24 hours beginning on February 14, 15th from its Port Arthur refinery. And Motiva, 118,000 pounds of emissions. They say that's more than three times the excess emissions that it declared to the U.S. Environmental Protection agency for all of 2019. Right now, the rapid assessment survey van is monitoring air quality in the Beaumont area. Take a look at its track. Now we're going to show you video from over the over the fall when the van was introduced as a new tool to track emissions. Now a TCEQ spokesperson said in part there are 200 air monitoring stations across the state that provide data to measure compliance with federal air quality standards and help determine the cause. Right now the TCEQ public reports show preliminary data. So the TCEQ says it will use data collected during the air monitoring and also this preliminary data to determine the total amount of chemicals released during the emissions events. We expect those numbers to be finalized in the next two weeks. Lauren Hensley, 12 News.